There's something I don't really do very much in Call of the Wild, and that is hunt from the actual tower stands that are in-game. Now, there's tower stands and there's lookout towers. You can basically hunt from either one. Typically, what I do is I use tree stands, so this time is going to be kind of the first time we're actually going to try and hunt from tower stands. Now, this truck right here looks like something that my, my uh, grandpa used to hunt with back in 1996. <laughs> I totally would see a park in his truck right on the road like this and build some kind of Mickey Mouse blind in the back of his truck and think, oh yeah, big buck's gonna come right in here. <laughs> He's gonna walk right past right there. This one time I saw this 10 pointer cross the road right there. So I figured if I park the truck right in the middle, he's gotta come past. <laughs> but seriously, we're not actually gonna hunt from here. <laughs> We're gonna go somewhere where there's probably gonna be some kind of animals. <laughs> All right, we're approaching our tower stand. It's a pretty big one. You can see a long, long ways once you get up here. I hear stuff. Ooh, check this out. Check this out. We got deer coming right underneath us here. Now I have the bow, so it's not a bad looking buck there. Gonna do out there. Um. If I could get a shot with a bow, I would take one for sure. Ooh, that's a good buck. There's one of the big ones there. Another good one there. And there should be another one coming as well. Oh, he's right there. He's actually in range. 40 yards out. Zeroed in for 60, so that should be... Oh, I hit him far back, but he was quartering quite a bit. How'd we do? Oh, that's going to be intestine. That's all right, though. That's all right. He shouldn't go too far. Nope. He's going down right there. So I think we'll take that buck next. Smoked him. And we should be able to get eyes on a couple more. Where'd they go? There goes one there. Smoked him. Oh, look at that. We got a doe right underneath us here. I'm going to attempt to try and take a shot right over the top of that little 2x4 there. Got her! I was actually hoping to see some bobcats out here and coyotes as well. Because they really like roaming around this area. Oh! There's a whitetail right there as a matter of fact. Not a bad looking buck. I think we could take him. I think we might be alright though because the hunting zone is nowhere near where this buck is at. Well, didn't exactly drop him, but he should go down. There we go. Got a doe way out there. All right, there's the buck. Oh, that shot looked perfect. We hit right above him. What a perfect setup though. They're going right down this road here. About 250 out. Oh, that shot should have been perfect. Definitely got a good hit there. Come on, go down. Another good hit. Yeah, he's going down. So we definitely connected on one of those shots. Those are all does there. Not really a ton of hunting pressure here. Now we're in a, um, a lookout tower, so I don't really know if it counts as an actual stand, but it kind of seems like it does because not a ton of pressure. And we shot about four deer out of this one location. It's these two does right underneath us, look. Well, we might as well try and take him down. Zero in for 40. And dropped her. And she's going to take off. Or is she? Where's she going? Where's she going? Oh, almost got her in the neck. No way, we got her. We got her. She was trotting away at about 45 out. And she's hit. We should probably finish her off though. Wait a second. She's going down. She's actually going down. 50%. I hear something else. Oh, what do we got out here now, guys? There's a good buck. Where in the heck did he come from? All of a sudden, I just looked out here and I saw a buck coming in. Sure enough, there he is right there. So I'm wondering... He should be drinking at this time, but apparently he was over there sleeping or something. Anyways, he's going to stop out there at about 220. And we could definitely take that shot. 
Where are you going? I think we drilled him. Got a good hit into him, but maybe not amazing. Was I zeroed in for 320 on that shot right there? I think I was. I think I was. I think we drilled him right in the freaking vertebrae. <laughs> we got some stuff way out here. Looks like we have some bighorn sheep. They're all female, but still. We'll see if we can't take them down. And I want to kind of check to see what the hunting pressure is like. Drop that thing. That one just took off. I do believe we got two. But let's see what our hunting pressure is like over there now. That shot was a 380 yard shot. Wow. I think we got two over there. But again, the pressure... I mean, we shot probably like seven or eight animals here. You would think it would be just super bright pink. And it's kind of a little bit faded purple. Man, I was really hoping to see some nice bobcats out here. But apparently they're going to be a little bit too smart. Jackpot, jackpot, jackpot right there. 270 yards out. We have the 243. And it's going to be super, super difficult to make this shot. But uh, I think we'll zero in for 300 and hold for the heart. I think we should be good if we do that. That was a tad bit too low, but I think we should be all right. All right, I lost sight of him right there. Oh, well, we definitely got him. Should have been a perfect shot. So we've been sitting here for maybe like 25 minutes and we've already taken down probably close to a dozen animals. Just when I thought everything was gone, all of a sudden I looked up here and I saw two more decent white tail bucks, but I don't see him right now. Oh. What do we got here now? Sneaking in another bobcat. Check that out. So what we might try and do is take down that bobcat in hopes of these bucks actually spooking out of here. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. There we go. Decent buck sneaking in behind us here. I wouldn't mind trying to get him to slow down. I don't know where we hit that second shot. I thought it was perfect. Holy, okay. He's got to be further than 60 because I keep dropping low. How far is that? I can't hit this thing. Got him. No freaking way we dropped him. We dropped him. I missed him three times at 60 yards. And we shoot again. And we dropped him at 86 yards out. Ooh, there's another good buck there too. And I just saw a bunch of animals taken off. I think these are all bighorn. All right, so there's that buck there. We'll definitely take him. I'm still trying to find these two bucks in here. And plus, we got that bobcat over there. Which, uh... I think what we might do is take down this buck here first. There's the bobcat. All right, let's get on this buck here. Smoked. Big buck down. Now, let's watch for these other two bucks running out of here somewhere. Holy! Right below us. Second shot drilled him, I believe. Third shot should put him down as well. Come on. Give me a good hit. Bad hit. Bad hit. There's another buck. Couple of does. All right. We got to finish him off. I am hoping that we... Only hit him once. There's a chance we might have only hit him once. Come on, turn around. Got him. Last shot, we got him. I think we might have been zeroed in for 300 again. I keep doing that, guys. Because in order for me to be zeroed in for 60 with my bow to be able to use it for 20, 40, 60, I have to be zeroed in for 300 for the rifle. And every time I switch, I kind of forget about that, which is unfortunate. There's the buck I was looking for. Now we want to be zeroed in for 320. And wait till he turns a little more. Well, slows down a little bit at least. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, he's shaking. Okay, I think we smoked him. We're kind of high up, so we should be good. Yeah, we got him. He's going down right there. He is going down. All right, so there's one of the bucks that I saw from before that I was looking for. And there still should be one more around this area as well. 
There he is. There he is. I see him. I see him. Okay, make sure we're zeroed in for 160 this time. Oh, I think we drilled him. I think we did. I was holding far forward, but it looked like we connected quite well, and I lost sight of him, so I think we got him. Got a call from another bobcat down here. Man, we just got stuff laying everywhere at this point. I'd say we have about 15, maybe 20 animals down, including probably about 10 bucks. There's our bobcat. There's our bobcat sneaking through there. All right, I'm just going to take a shot to try and kick him up. It's only a female, so I'm really not super concerned, but I mean, yeah, if we get a shot, then we'll definitely take it. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, she's behind the hill. There she is. Are you kidding me right now? That was double lung hard shot all day long. Are you kidding me? We just did the same exact thing back to back. And finally she went down, but that first shot, I have no clue how we didn't hit double lung and heart. Another Bobcat, that's actually a decent one. Oh, wrong, wrong rifle. All right, do not hit the fence. We're gonna zero in for 80 here. That's a tough shot, that's a tough shot. Ooh, we got him. Perfect shot. He's down. Dang, we are just cleaning up on the animals today. I don't even know what the honey pressure looks like right now. Wow. Wow. What's interesting, though, is it's not like all super bright pink. It's only super bright pink right here. And out of all the animals we shot, we never even lost one single zone <laughs> because I never had a zone here to begin with. It's just like a natural pass. So they cross through here, but they don't really stop here. They drink here. Man, would that be cool if we could draw on the map right now. So then we could have some kind of way of marking all the animals that we have. 10 here, 10 over here, and then maybe like five here because we have so many animals down and it would be so difficult to know where they all went. But in the back of my mind, I know kind of like where they were. But once I get down there on the ground next to them, I don't remember, you know, where they are. I know where they are from in this stand, but I don't know where they are once I get down on the ground. Because there's a lot of animals to try and find here, as you can see from the honey pressure. Or apparently we got a hen pheasant right underneath us here. Well, there she is right there. As a matter of fact, uh, we have the 22. Heck yeah, we have the 22. Check this out right through the fence. Ready? No, I knew that wasn't going to work. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew that wasn't going to work. But there's a chance it might have. Where'd she go? All right, let's get down and start picking these up now. Holy, we got animals everywhere. Um, We got that one bobcat right here. He's a decent level six and he was gold potential too. So let's pick him up real quick. All right, here he is. Let's have a look at him. Nice vital hit as well, which is pretty cool. And he is in fact going to make gold 24.10 gold and he's a red. Take a look at that shot though. Quartering away double lung liver shot at 92 yards out with the 243, a sweet looking Mexican Bobcat right there. Now, one thing that there is to note is a lot of these does here, we're probably not gonna pick up because if you don't pick them up, they will not spawn back. Well, I mean, here's what's gonna happen. It will spawn back as the exact same doe. So it's not really like you're gonna gain anything from it, but I will pick up a couple of these for sure. Perfect 40 yard double lung shot right there. I'm just saying like the ones that ran off quite a ways, I'm not really going to worry about those ones because yeah. All right. And here's going to be where pretty much all of our deer ended up right here is going to be a doe. So we took her on the walk at 46 yards with a bow and right here is going to be a buck. I don't remember which one. Oh, that's the one that was quartering away. We took him with a bow as well, hit him a little far back, but he was quartering away quite a bit. So honestly, I don't think we hit him quite as far back as you really think. Yeah, he was quartering away quite a bit. We did hit him far back, but we were just a little bit low. If we were higher up, we probably could have caught vitals there, but 169 at 47 yards out. And then this guy here, I think we took down with the M1 potentially. Yeah, must have, because he's piled right up here. Double lunged him at 150, 149. And then I think this is a doe. Yeah, it's a doe. And 77 yard shot in the back hind quarter with a bow. 
So we dropped just a tad bit low there. And I do believe we got two bucks over here. This one here, I think we might have hit the vertebrae the first shot, but then I put a follow up and I'm hoping it connected before it went down. But if not, oh well. Um, looks like we didn't quite connect on that second shot, but he was a good buck. Yeah, he would have been a gold 194.6 would have been our biggest buck. But unfortunately, I was zeroed in for 320 and I didn't even know it. Second shot, we try to connect on that and hit him just a little far back. But right before he went down 242 yards out. So yeah, that would have been our biggest buck there. I figured eventually we might run into him. And sure enough, here he is right here. He actually ran quite a ways though, so I don't think we hit him that good. Uh, we shot two times at him. He was a good buck as well, 181. And took about 320, uh, got intestine, and then high the second shot there. All right, so now we're going to go over here, and we're going to pick up our bobcat, which I'm pretty sure we made an awesome shot. For some reason, I can't figure out where this buck went. I know we didn't hit him that good, but still, even a flesh hit uh, should take down that whitetail. But I do believe our bobcat should be laying right around here somewhere. That should be him right here, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it is going to be him. What a perfect shot. 274 yard double lung shot with the 243. And surprisingly, I mean, that was money. <laughs> that was absolute money going right for the heart. Check that out. The heart, it basically hit the heart. I don't know how it missed it, but perfect shot. 25.5 gold. Big old Mexican Bobcat. No wonder why we didn't see him. He's behind this rock. Look at this. There he is. 184. So that, I believe, is the first buck that we shot. 184.5. So potentially that could have been a gold, but he wasn't quite big enough. And again, the angle of that shot is just so cool because we're super, super high up on that tower there. So I forgot about this, but this here is the buck that we took at 80 yards out and we dropped him with the bow. We missed him twice and the third shot, we drilled him. Nice, a double lung liver shot at 87 yards out on the turn. Oh, I will definitely take that with a bow, 168. So not a bad sized buck as well. It's kind of funny that we missed him two times and the third shot connected at 87 yards out. And we got two more down over here. Yeah, there's just so many deer here that I honestly don't remember which deer is which. I kind of remember this one, we took him with the M1. Yeah, 171, a really, really respectable buck. Double lunged him at 150 yards. So yeah, this here is gonna be probably our biggest buck and he should be gold potential. Oh, just barely missed gold, 192. We need 193.7. Oh man, so close, but yeah, absolute perfect shot. 347 yards out. Surprisingly, we didn't get a double lung. I mean, maybe because the shot was a little bit too far. But the angle was absolutely perfect there. Just uh, didn't quite connect to get double lung in. What in the heck are these? They think they're mountain goats or what do they think they are? Aren't these bighorn sheep? <laughs> they're trying to climb this. What in the heck? Oh my God, that's funny. That is so funny. I remember we hit a buck over here, but I didn't know like how good we actually hit it. Oh, stomach shot, 276 yards. I thought we drilled him. I held super far in front of him, but we hit kind of far back, 169, another not a bad looking whitetail buck as well. Okay, on that note, that is gonna be it. I'll show you where we hunted today and how we hunted. Seriously, are you gonna tempt me again? No, it's a doe. Um, but we're over here by El Portrero and I have my tent set up just south of the Casa de los Vescas outpost here. The tent is right here and we got here at 8.35 in the morning and basically, we ran directly to this tower and once we got up in it, we just sat there and waited, you know, and anything that came walking underneath us close, we used the bow, obviously because there's no point in just blasting away at stuff that's like 50 yards away from you or less, because then you're going to spook everything around here. But once we shot them, then we kept seeing stuff coming in from over here, over here. We had deer over here. We have bobcats moving in from here, bobcats moving in from here, bobcats from here. And just this whole area was was phenomenal. I can't even tell you how many animals we took down. I'll have to check the codex in a little bit just because there were so many. Well, if you look right here, you can see how many we shot. It is 924 today. So we'll start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 animals we shot out of that one tower stand, including pretty much like 75% whitetail and probably over 50% bucks, which is pretty incredible. And we also got two big gold bobcats out of that. Anyways, yeah, 18 animals from that one tower stand. I guess technically it's a lookout tower. It is the Mirador del Sahuro. And yeah, that spot right there, 8.30 in the morning until it's 1300 right now. So we've been sitting here for five hours in game. We've been sitting there for. That is how much action we got on this one spot here. I am so exhausted from just hunting all those animals in that one spot that it's just, it's not even funny. But anyways, yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Seriously, pheasant, don't make me go after you now. I really wouldn't mind getting a pheasant right now, but we're not going to focus on that. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. I hope you guys try out that spot and do it like the way that I did, because it's a lot of fun. Stupid pheasant. That's what I thought. Take one of them.